The 2018-19 season of ABB FIA Formula E Championship is all wrapped up and what a way to end. Two races of intense, action-packed battling as the championship went right down to the wire and the drivers gave everything out on the track. Let's take a look at how it all unfolded and how our champions were made. Jean-Eric Verne made history here in New York City by becoming the first Formula E driver to win two championships. But he didn't make it easy for himself. Jeff was in great shape going into the first race of the weekend, but after struggling in qualifying, he started the race in 10th. A collision involving both the DS Cheetah drivers early in the race forced Jeff to head into the pits for repairs. Coming out way behind, he managed to climb himself back up into the points with the help of a safety car. It was three points that he needed to win the championship. He pushed and got himself one for fastest lap, but it was another incident, this time with Felipe Massa, on this corner, turn two, that changed everything and gave his title rivals the lifeline they needed to make it go down to the final race. Again, qualifying didn't go to plan and he started the race behind Lucas Degrassi and Mitch Evans, who were both still in contention to win the championship. But he wasn't going to see a repeat of the day before and a careful and considered drive saw him get to the position he needed to be, finishing the race in P7, enough to be crowned Formula E's first double champion. For a driver that's known to be passionate and even a little bit hot-headed at times in the media, Jeff showed the calmness and maturity needed to bring the car home and take the title. Success for his team, Diaz to Cheetah as well, who were given the redemption they were after and left New York City with the team's championship, despite Audi doing everything they could to try and stop them. Sebastian Buemi continued his big points haul this weekend, winning the first race and finishing P3 in the second, his fourth podium in four races. After a few disappointing moments early on, Buemi seemed to find incredible form in the last few races of the season, but it was too late to take on Jev in the driver's title and he finishes P2 in the championship. It's crazy to think that I'm, I finished second in a championship, you know. Uh, after Paris and all the, the issues I've had, I could not have even dreamed of finishing second. So, amazing feeling. My objective coming into the, the weekend was to finish third and I'm, I'm second. So, you can always dream of doing better, but we didn't lose the championship uh, today. We lost it, you know, way before. Robin Fryan showed incredible pace in the final race, rocketing himself to his second win of the season and helping his team in Vision Verging Racing take P3 in the team's championship and securing himself P4 in the driver's championship. We always had the pace, we always, the car was always strong enough to finish in the top five in every track we were went to. So uh, yeah, it was been hard on us, uh, hard on the team, on the mechanics, uh, on the engineers part. And I'm just happy that everything comes together and the car was still a one piece now. So, uh, and finishing fourth, the goal obviously was to take this one again after yesterday's disappointment we were having. And we took it by one point. So uh, yeah, that was accomplished. This season saw the debut of a number of rookies, many of which showed great pace and challenge in qualifying all season, but none of them were able to take the top step of the podium, and it was the experienced drivers who took all the glory, with the top three in the championship being made up by three former champions. Now we know that Formula E is no walk in the park, but this season just goes to show how difficult and challenging this championship is to drive in. So that's the end of an amazing season of Formula E. We've been absolutely spoiled with incredible racing. And I think you'll agree with me when I say season six can't come soon enough. But what did you think of the final two races? Did it end the way you thought it would? And what was your favorite moment of the season? You know what to do, let us know in the comments.